can I introduce you to the new version of Death of a Nightingale with I Spy and the new version of this website? But uh, before I do so, a word in it ways. Do you sometimes wonder, as I do, why today there seem to be so many giant cock-ups that unfold on our television screens and in the press almost every week? Why do they happen? Well, I will give you a thought. People are far from perfect. Many of them are very imperfect. And if you don't allow for that, if you don't factor it into your thinking and planning, you shouldn't be totally surprised when things go badly wrong. Because human shortcomings, human fallibility, fuck things up. And uh, they turn dreams into nightmares. Sometimes nightmares you can't wake up from. I call human fallibility the fly in the ointment. Because if you can't see the fly, you can't swat it. I hope Death of a Nightingale will give you an opportunity to see it. Death of a Nightingale is about a small cock-up. It's a small drama. It's about the closing of a special school. But sometimes a small drama can illuminate a larger one, and it's not so small um, when it's repeated, and over a hundred special schools have been closed in the UK in recent years. The drama here lies in the clash of ideas between those who thought and maybe still think that it was the right thing to do to close those schools and those like me who think otherwise. Yes, it was certainly right for many children with special needs to go to a mainstream school, but positively wrong for many others. They should be enjoying their childhood and making friends and it's not always so easy in a mainstream school. Instead, many of them are bullied despite best endeavours. A few even try to take their own lives and uh, occasionally succeed. Uh, many truant to try and escape it. Nearly one child with special needs in ten truants. And on top of that, they're put in the hands of classroom assistants. Nearly 100,000 classroom assistants have been recruited to help schools cope. Now, I know, having been a, a governor of a special school, that classroom assistants are the most wonderful people when they're backing up trained and dedicated special needs teachers and therapists, but not, not instead of them. So why have children, some children, been shortchanged? I think those responsible made three mistakes. The first mistake they made was not to see the fly in the ointment. They didn't take any account of human fallibility. The second mistake they made was not to see the fly in their own ointment. They projected for others what they wanted for themselves when others had different needs. This is, I think, a common enough mistake in education, but it's all the more serious when you're dealing with special educational needs, because children with special needs have a multiplicity of different needs. One size does not fit all, not even in the name of uh, equality and human rights. The, they may not even have thought about children without special needs, because they too uh, have needs and rights. And the third mistake they made was not to cost the policy. Uh, they may have thought that money didn't matter. It was question of human rights and it wasn't their money anyway. Or it may be they thought there were savings to be made. Well, it was never going to be a cheap option. They never looked a year ahead. Classroom assistance alone. Each one of them costs more than the entire cost of the education of a child in a special school. Death of a Nightingale gives you an opportunity to get your head around all of this. It's a play that was performed in London last year, and you can see extracts of it on this website. You can visit I Spy and see the thinking behind it. You can visit Notes and Quotes and see some of the hard and uncomfortable facts that back up what I'm saying. You can go into my blog and share your thoughts with mine, or you can go into the contact page and buy the book. You can nibble at the edges or you can take a big bite. 
Either way, I hope you'll come back for a second helping. And I hope you'll get the sort of insight that I got while I was chair of governors of a special school, helping the parents in their successful fight to prevent the closure of their school. One other thing, I hope you'll help me help children with special needs have a holiday. It's relatively easy for you and me to have a holiday. It's not so easy for them. There's a, a simple enough thought behind Death of a Nightingale, and that is to care and to take care. Care and take care. I hope it's thought that's meaningful to you and you'll help me share it with your friends and your colleagues. Thank you for visiting my website and uh, I hope you'll come again. In the meantime, I hope you'll watch and I hope you'll enjoy watching Death of a Nightingale. Thank you again. Thank you.